away from wonderfully shitty Scranton, Scrotum, Pennsylvania, the armpit or the groin of society. It's Frank the Lunatic here, and I'm riled up today. Why? Because I was just at Sunoco on 7th Avenue in wonderfully delightful Scranton where McCarthy flowered cabs. That's right, McCarthy cabs. Gonna hashtag that on this thing. Car M68, along with a couple of other cars, show up because that's where they get their fuel from on their corporate account. I'm at the pump. I'm using my price chopper points to get fuel. So, of course, you have to go back into the store to finish paying for your fuel because, they, you know, they take your cash. They don't know how much gas it's going to take to fill you up. And, you know, so you can calculate the discount to that. So I'm in there and this person of... I'm not going to be rude. We'll just say this darker person. I don't know. We'll say African-American. Whatever. Actually, you don't even know that because you don't know. He could be from one of the islands. I don't know, but you get my drift. Comes in, starts flapping his gums, getting the other cab drivers riled up too on how um, me and this other lady waiting in line is holding up traffic. They've got work to do. We're holding up. We're holding everything up because we're in here buying lottery tickets and that, and that's rude and everything else. And we should know better. And da, 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 this, that, another. And I turn around. And I'm as I'm paying for my stuff, and I'm going back. I ain't buying no damn lottery tickets. So we, uh, Mr. Congeniality uh, leaves. And he's outside by the pumps waiting for me to get back to the car. And starts up with me. Starts up with me about it. You know, how uh, that's uncalled for and rude and this and that. And, you know, all this other stuff. And, and I told him, buddy, I wasn't buying no damn lottery tickets. Here's my friggin' receipt for the fuel. Well, you should just drive up and uh, go inside. He said, um, excuse me, did you ever hear of uh, driving off without paying? They see in the camera you're not at the pump. Hello? They call it in. You moron. And he's still going off on me on this stuff. And like, he's like, you know, if uh, that was my company I'd be, or something like that, I'd be, uh, you know, somebody'd be on the phone and this, that, and another. like that woman who just cut me the fuck off. Almost had me go into the divider. This is why I hate driving in fucking Scranton. Assholes that don't know how to drive. But besides that, let's get back to the delightful cab driver in cab number M68. So it starts going off. I said, well, you know what? How about I call your company right now because you're out here cursing me out and everything and you're in your company's car. It's, you know, nice representation for your company. I don't care what the hell you do, asshole. So I pulled the car up. I stood right there and called. <laughs> I, got, I jumped on the phone because his number's right there. Called the 570-344-5000 and bitched about the guy right there. Bitched about him. Asked for a supervisor and went off on what this asshole was doing. I'm like, this is fucking ridiculous. Why? Because it's Scranton and he's a cab driver for a cab company that's been there for like 75 freaking years? You can get away with whatever the hell you want? Unfucking believable Go back to where the fuck you came from, buddy. You and your accent. Unfucking believable how people are anymore. This is what I hate about the city. They all have goddamn attitudes. You know, you get people down there, their shit doesn't fucking stink. Type of thing. Unreal. Unreal. But yeah, the cab company apologized up and down and everything and said, okay, and, you know, I said I had a run-in with this guy in the store and he follows me to my damn car. Because I told the cab guy, you know, you're, that, this guy is freaking lucky because, you know, the way people are out there, you're going to come up to approach me by my car? People pull guns out for shit like that, you know? 
That man's freaking lucky that I wasn't somebody else. Freaking idiots out there. That's why I hate the city of Scranton. Just another reason why it is so delightful there. The most delightful place in the world. I'm Frank the Lunatic. If you had a run in with a camp you had a run in with anybody from a company that you've had to go and call the number that's splattered on the side, because after all, as we say in the fire service, you know, that's like you're a freaking walking billboard. Your company's information is right there. You're representing your company. But anyhow, I'm Frank the Lunatic, and just to piss Hyper Armadillo off, I approve this message. And that, my friends, is all I have to say about that.